If you have gone to a live event such as a concert or a large worship gathering, then you've probably seen a lyric video because lyric videos are becoming more and more popular in these types of events. These are pre-built content that can help add a lot of visuals to a gathering. How to play back these types of videos while still using the stage display and then live stream, this is the purpose of this video. Here is a lyric video for a song. And this video is more than just showing a pretty motion background with lyrics on the screen. You can see in this video that the lyrics are doing stuff and the background is changing with the music. This video and content becomes an extension of the lighting and the environment on the stage. Bringing the entire space together helps to form a more engaging experience for the audience. Hi everybody, I'm Nathan from Crazy Amazing Designs. I train and educate leaders to do church and event production with excellence. I do this through these types of training videos on my YouTube channel. If you're looking to learn even more about ProPresenter 7 and how you can better utilize it in your church or maybe other topics such as live streaming, then sign up for a Zoom training session with me. The link is in the description. Now, back to this fun topic. A while back I did production for a youth conference and the venue had these two large screens. So before the event I built a bunch of custom content for each of the songs and I synced the playback to the multi-tracks via timecode. And as the cool content played on the front double wide screens there was another screen in the back that we used for a stage display to show the lyrics and stuff to the team on stage. So we're gonna dive into ProPresenter and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna play back our lyric video and we're gonna show the full screen video on the stage display. That seems like the easiest option, right? Show the video on the main screen, show the video on the stage screen for the people on the stage. So here I have two videos inside of the Finder that I'm gonna go ahead and drag into ProPresenter. So great, now we've got those. I'm gonna highlight both of them, right click and change the playback behavior to stop. Now I will go ahead and create a new presentation item. We're gonna call it Worship videos, okay. Now playlist, we're just gonna send it to the sample playlist and I'm gonna hit new. Cool, so now I always recommend putting videos inside of a presentation item. The alternative is that inside of your playlist, you could just drag them in like this, but then they come up like that and it's kind of weird. You're limited on the functionality. So I don't like doing that. I like creating a presentation item and then just drag my videos up into the presentation item and I try not to keep slides. Okay, so this one here, I'm gonna go ahead and scale to fill, and then I'm gonna redrag it in to update it, make sure it's fully wide. And now if I click on it, okay, there it is playing, and I can drag the cursor through to make sure that it's playing correctly. So now what I'm seeing here is that it's on the main screen, but it's not on the stream, and it's not on the stage display screen. We might want it in both places. So what we're gonna do here is I have some macros set up in my ProPresenter 7 template, that my template's available on my website, link in the description. So I can click through these and figure out which one I want. Pre-post service, nope. Full screen, default full screen. That one looks good. Now the video is playing across all three screens. So we could do that. We could just drag that full screen one to this and now we have that video playing across all three screens. Okay, I'm gonna delete this macro because I wanna show you how this is actually set up. So. If I right click on this, you can see if I edit actions that we have a look applied and we have a stage display layout applied. So let's clear this. And of course it's gonna do that because let's go back to the worship one. Cool, so now we just have it on the one screen again. So let's go up into screens, edit looks. So you can see here I have a full screen, default full screen. And basically on both of my outputs, my main out and my stream out, the everything is going. So full screen, everything, nothing's being removed or changed or anything. So to make this live, it's gonna put the video on the stream out. So now for the stage display, that happens somewhere else. We're gonna have to right click, go to add action, stage. And now on my stage screen one, which is my main stage display output to the team on stage, I'm gonna go down and find one that works. And I'm gonna go full screen. And now if I click on this, you can see that it's on now on all three screens full screen. The reason I was able to click on that full screen stage display layout is again because of my ProPresenter template. Here, click on more than stage editor and it'll open up the stage display editor and you can see here at the bottom is my multi-view and all of the different stage display layouts. One of my stage display layouts is full screen. So if I click on that, 
I can go over to fill and it's set to screen preview main out. So now whatever happens on the main output, that's gonna go to the stage display. So now when I click on the video, everything plays, beautiful. So as you can see, this works, but it does not allow us to set up a proper stage display layout. So if I go to a song, any song, click on the first slide and then put click on the first lyric slide, you can see here in the bottom right, if I make the stage display full screen, we've got our current and next slide text and then we've got current and next slide chords. So if we wanna maintain that functionality, then we need to do something different. So in this next demo, we're going to play back our lyric video with lyric slides that's gonna give us a proper stage display. So to do that, we are actually gonna set up the song inside of ProPresenter. To do this, I will go up to search in the top left of ProPresenter, go to CCLI, and then paste in the song name, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And I actually have a video that covers how I do this. You don't need to watch me do it right now. Okay, go ahead and import, and it only took about, I don't know, five seconds, so I guess it was okay that you stuck around to watch me. Now that our song is properly set up, I can go ahead and drag our lyric video into the first slide, and I'll click and play the lyric video, and now you can see that I can click through all of the slides. Perfect, it looks good, I can scrub through it, but I'm noticing something that the lyrics have come up on the main output. I don't really want that. The goal here is to utilize the lyrics from the fun video that was created and then utilize the you know, stage display. So what we're gonna do here is I will right click on the second slide, which is the first slide of verse one, and I'm gonna go to slide destination and I'm gonna go to stage. So now when I click clear this and I'm gonna click on the first slide and now when I click on them, the lyrics are just gonna to go to the stage display, which is perfect. So now we can utilize the fun video and that'll be for the main screen and then the stage display is gonna get the lyrics that somebody's gonna to have to click through or you could still automate this or whatever you'd like to do. If you do wanna automate this, you could use MIDI cues through something like Playback or Ableton Live, you can check out my videos on that, but you could also use the timeline feature inside of ProPresenter. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the red recording dot. So now I can click on the first slide and you can see here, I'll just go ahead and drag that back to the beginning. Now I'm gonna go and drag the lyric video up into this and then drag that to the beginning because that's gonna make it easier for actually recording this. So I'm gonna click play and that's gonna trigger the video. And now once I, I'm just gonna click through the song and record all of the slides. So I'll click this, this slide. And then when I see the text or before that, I'll just click the next one and the next and the next and the next, 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 and the next and the next. Wait, I think that's awesome, Never mind. You get the idea. So now I'm just gonna stop it and stop recording. So now when I can even delete this, I think it'll play back the slide from the first slide. No, apparently it won't. Okay, so I'll just put this back in here. So now when I, go back to the beginning and start playing, this uh, video will start playing and then when we get to the slide cues, the slides will start changing automatically. There you go. And because I put that stage only on the uh, second slide, which is the first slide of actual text, I'm just getting lyrics on the stage display screen and I'm not getting them on the main screen. Okay, so the next kind of thing is we've now set up it all to be good, we're not getting what we don't want on the main screen, but we are also not getting anything on the live stream output. So what if you wanna utilize the live stream output for your stream, but you also wanna utilize the stage display for your people on stage, but you, for your audience, you wanna show them the lyric video, or you have specific parts of the song that you want to show the lyric video for, and then specific parts of the song where you want to show the text for. When I did that conference a while back, what I did was I was using text out of ProPresenter the majority of the time. And then, then during that chorus of the song, I cut off ProPresenter's slides and I had that text coming from the lyric video. So what we're gonna do to set that up, I'm gonna close out of the timeline feature. And now I'm gonna go up to screens, edit looks. And to do this, I'm gonna go to the worship look, I'm gonna duplicate it. And now I have a new one and we're just gonna call that worship parentheses and I'm gonna call it lyric video. So now every time there's a lyric video, we're gonna use this look. So we'll apply this to a macro and easily apply it to the song. So now on our main output, we wanna show nothing, okay? But then on our stream output, we wanna show no video, because we don't want to show the motion video, but we do want to show the slide, so the lyrics. So on the main output, we're going to have media, which is the video, but we're not going to have text. 
On the stream, we're not gonna have me media, which is the video, but we are gonna have text. And then there's also a theme applied to the lower third lyrics on this output. So I go ahead and make live. Now when I click on this, we'll clear everything just to get us a fresh start. I'll start my lyric video and now I'll click on my first slide. Okay, so it's still being weird and that is because I need to remove the slide actions. Now I'll clear it one more time and now I will start this. Wait, I forgot to apply. So let's go to add action and then we're gonna go to audience look and then we're gonna go to lyric video and now we'll click play. Ah, there's the problem. My stage only is still active underneath of the multi-view. So now when I click play, you can see the lyric video plays. And now when I click through the slides, there's no slide on the main output, but there is slide on the stream output and the stage display is working perfect. So now taking this a step further, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up like I had it at that event where I used ProPresenter slides the majority of the time, but then for the chorus, I took away ProPresenter slides but maintained the output on the stage display and on the live stream. So to do this, I'm gonna go ahead and right click and remove my action, my, uh, my look. And to make this easy, I'm gonna go down to my macros and I'm gonna create a new macro Let's duplicate the look worship macro and we're gonna rename this one to be look worship lyric video. Okay, and now I'll right click on this, go to edit actions, gonna go to worship, change it from worship to worship lyric video to that new look that we created. And then let's just check the stage display to see what it's on. And it's on worship, yeah, on the chords, perfect. Now, because I wanna start with the lyrics from ProPresenter on the main output, I'm gonna drag the normal worship macro to it. And now I'll click play and it'll start on the video. And when I click on the first slide, it's gonna put the text on the main output, on the stream output, on the stage display output. So now when we get down to the chorus, wait, it's still gonna do the same thing because we didn't apply our new look. So I'll apply that look there. So now I'll clear all just to reset everything. So now we're gonna click through the lyrics, but then when we get to the chorus, we are going to cut the lyrics off the main screen with our new look, AKA our new macro. And now we're gonna continue clicking through them. And when we get to the verse two, it still doesn't come back. That's because we did not add our look. Now our normal macro is on here so that our text goes to all three outputs. Remember, nothing in ProPresenter changes unless until something changes it. So I'll try it one more time. I'm gonna clear all on everything. Click play on our lyric video. Gonna go through verse one, and when I get to the chorus, it's gonna go away. And now I can click through the chorus, and now I'm at the end of the chorus, and it'll come back when I click to verse two. So you can kind of utilize those two macros, AKA those two looks, to take and remove text from your screen. And that is the gist of it. Thank you for watching this video. Consider liking this video and subscribing to Crazy Amazing Designs here on YouTube. Check out my other videos to learn more and I will see you next time. Bye.